Happy Valentine's Day. I'm excited that the Monday Night Experience happens to fall on this special day. And it means so much to us here at Cindy Dennis Ministries, which is why we send cards and we just had a virtual Valentine's event because we're all about making this day special because of a God who loves us so much that he wants us to send and share his love one for another. So we sent cards, right? We had a party. We did all kinds of fun things. But tonight, I feel so honored to be able to share this message entitled, Blessing Others on Valentine's Day. Proverbs eleven twenty five encourages us with these words that a person who spreads blessings will be enriched and one who gives refreshing drink will be refreshed. You know, it's easy to get caught up with just the day-to-day -day activities, day in, day out. But while I know that Valentine blessings and sharing those blessings with others might not seem to make that much of a difference, it's in those small things, right? He says, as we plant, as we, you know, as we water, God will give increase. So as you uh, think about this season, particularly this very day, ask God to show you, to bring to mind people that you can be a blessing to. Maybe this month, it doesn't have to be in a day, but maybe this month would be an opportunity in which you can encourage and just pass on God's love in a tangible way. I believe that as we step out, not only uh, to be intentional in being a blessing to others, the good news is, like the scripture reminds us, we will find that overflow coming back to us. I love that promise in God's word that it says it's more blessed to give than to receive. And in this place of a heart that's open and surrender to Christ. He wants to work in and through us for the hearts and lives of others that just need that little bit of encouragement, love, affirmation, validation to get through that day. So let me pray and then let's uh, touch on a few simple points that I have for us tonight. Heavenly Father, I speak your blessings upon my friends tonight. I extend your love and may your love overflow as you enrich each of their lives. Father, it is in that place of emptiness that you bring fullness because you're a God of increase and overflow. I pray that your love would pour forth in such a way that not only will it benefit them, but will overflow in the hearts and lives of those around them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I think about Valentine's Day, even uh, when I was a children's pastor and was sharing this day with the little ones, I loved many of the studies, the legends about St. Valentine, but my favorite one is this, and that is uh, the history and the legends, they can be murky, they, there, there's a lot of speculation, but this one really resonated in my heart, and that was the fact that he was known as being sympathetic, heroic, and more important, romantic. And in that day, uh, when many Christians were being persecuted, imprisoned, and often martyred for their faith, he was there in the Roman prisons to uh, bring encouragement and it says that most likely he was killed attempting to help them. He had this heart wanting to, to just bring encouragement to those that were, it looked, didn't look very promising in their world in that, in that future ahead of them. And you and I, in this world, it can be murky too. And Valentine, this whole month, it is a celebration of one another. And as I think about ways, maybe in the chat you can share with, with us how you enjoy uh, being blessed on Valentine's Day or how you have blessed others. 
It might be sending cards. This weekend, my husband and I, we sat down and, and worked on Valentine cards and, and messages for our family. It might be cooking. And when my children were young and still in the home, we had these heart-shaped cookie cutters and would decorate uh, heart-shaped cookies and pass them out to those that are in our neighborhood. Or it could be like the project I'm working on tomorrow where we are bringing baskets of goodies to the firemen to and firewomen, to those working uh, in the fire station as well, to just thank them and let them know how much we appreciate their efforts and service. Whatever part we play, God encourages us time and time again to be a blessing to others. And this month, I would like to challenge you and me both to be that uh, instrument of God's work to encourage the hearts of others. I think of my favorite thing, and that's what's in here, which happens to be some chocolate candy in a heart-shaped box. I like chocolate candy, but I also enjoy these conversation hearts. They have little words on them and they just have a, such a sweet taste, but it's fun uh, either uh, making crafts with them or decorating cupcakes with those conversation hearts, even designing cards and using them as a part of that uh, decor. But the history of these little candies date back to, uh, in the words that are on them, date back to the time of Abraham Lincoln. There's a company in New England, a confectionery company, that's called Neko. And uh, they say that out of all their candies, those conversation hearts are the most popular. And I'm gonna just slip by and get my little heart that I wanna share with you. Give me a minute. So when I was thinking about conversation hearts, I bought these little um, heart ornaments. And I know that every word on these conversation hearts, maybe it's LOL or be mine or cute or loved, but I decided to create my own conversation hearts because from God's word, that is his love letter to you and me. And as we get into his word, there are certain conversation hearts that just jump off the page. You know, he's left his word not only to bring encouragement, but to, to fill us up with love and in, in, with promises, with assurances, and with the comfort that we all long for. So my word that really spoke to me this Valentine's season is beloved. And I was encouraged by Colossians 3.12 that has that promise that we are beloved of the Lord. You and I, there might be other things um, from his word that just will bring that confident assurance that we long for in this season. And maybe we can bring that message and pay it forward for others. Maybe it's going to a Starbucks and, and uh, feeling like you need a pick me up, but maybe that much more helping the one behind us by paying for their uh, treat and just putting a, a note. Uh, with those that are working at the window to pass on to the person there a word of encouragement. God, he is sending words of encouragement day in and day out with the help of his Holy Spirit, who is recalling God's word and his promises to us. And he wants us to taste and see that the Lord is good. It reminds me of when I taste one of those conversation hearts, the sweetness that just fills my taste buds and explodes with possibility of flavor. We have a God that is wanting to fill our life with the possibility of hope and assurance. And in that, he reminds us through his promises, maybe it is knowing that we are beloved of the Lord. Let me read that scripture in Colossians 3.12 that inspired my little beloved heart. And it says this, as God's chosen one, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, 
humility, meekness, and patience. Beloved, when I looked that word up because it just resonated within me, it means to be greatly loved. No one can love us as completely and as fully as our Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. He spoke the world into existence with love. And Jesus, he's that greatest expression of love, isn't he? Love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So that that great love, that when we made Jesus the Lord of our life, that's imparted in us, he wants us to share that with others. And he gives us that confident assurance. We are his beloved children undeserving of his love, but chosen to receive it. This Valentine's Day, may you be uh, filled with that promise of hope that God's goodness will shine upon you. His love will fill you with joy. And then to wrap up with this final promise, John 13, 34, love each other in the same way as I have loved you. Those were Jesus' words. May you be encouraged to pass and pay for the very love that was shed forth in your heart when you made Jesus the Lord of your life to share it with others this Valentine's Day and this Valentine's Month. God bless you all. Good night.